Today marks 70 years since a first group of migrants from the Caribbean arrived on the Empire Windrush ship in Britain. Ceremonies have been organized in London to thank the people who arrived in the post-war period to help rebuild Britain and provide essential services. Commonly known as the Windrush generation, many came as British citizens and were supposed to have an indefinite right to, indefinite right to stay. But earlier this year, a scandal broke out when it emerged that the government had reclassified thousands of Caribbean-born UK residents as illegal immigrants. Many lost their jobs and access to health care, and some were actually deported. Joining us on the line from London is Gus Joan, an academic and equality campaigner who refused Theresa May's invitation to this celebration. Gus, hello. How did you, why did you refuse the invitation and how are people in the Afro-Caribbean community uh, reacting overall to this tribute? Well, um, there is a lot of anger um, amongst people uh, about what the Prime Minister has done, not just in, re in, in recent past, but for the last few years. Um, the, 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 the environment that she created has led to a lot of misery. In fact, some people who should be uh, receiving treatment for very serious illnesses have had this treatment withdrawn, and therefore they're facing death. I, I'm talking about diseases such as cancer, uh, leukemia and, 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 and so on. Now, all of that is very, very brutal and, and unnecessary and illegal. Um, so there is a lot of anger amongst people about this. The other thing, of course, is that the, 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 the government has, in fact, um, extended the, 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 the border agency um, uh, into functions of the border agency to landlords, um, schools, doctors, all these people are now required to provide evidence that those whom they are treating are legally uh, uh, allowed to stay in the country. Now, it's not the business of landlords or head teachers or principals of schools to be immigration officers. Um, and so there is, a, there is a hostile climate generally, and of course, those who those who want to identify illegal immigrants don't make a, a, a differentiation between people who were born here and people who came here recently or may have been here undocumented for, 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 for some time. So it's a very pernicious uh, uh, um, activity, and it, it is it's against the human rights of uh, African and Asian people. So you were mentioning this hostile environment. What is, ha what is happening with the government of Theresa May? What are they doing to try to resolve this, to correct what, what's happening in this situation? The government, the govern the govern the government has now um, um, uh, revoked the deportation orders that had been um, um, produced in relation to over 2,000 people. It has offered to compensate some of the people who have lost their jobs, some have lost their homes, uh, because they were not able to, 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 to work and, and, and so on. So it's, it's making some amends. But having said that, they are still operating the laws illegally in respect of quite a number of people. Thank you very much, Gus, for your time. And that is why I, I thought there was nothing to celebrate with the Prime Minister. Indeed. Thank you, Gus. We were talking to Gus Joan, an academic in London, about the Windrush scandal. So another story.